Hey everybody, Elisa Di Stefano here. As I, and I know many of you, continue to navigate this new work from home, I reached out to women who I admire who have been successfully working from home for years to get their best tips. Okay, so I certainly have my slippers on, but tip number one, dress for work at home success. My tip for when you're working at home, get out of your PJs and put some clothes on. And if you have four-legged friends at home, don't forget to spend a little extra time with them. Tip number two, drink on the job. Water, of course. What makes things difficult is when you're not hydrated and you don't eat. Set up a calendar appointment, carve out a special time every day for some you time. Feed your soul, feed your tummy, drink some water, and always make sure you never hit that four o'clock slump and load yourself up on sugar because that will be the demise of the rest of your day. Tip number three, set a routine and try to stick to it you really need to set a routine. I think it's important to like, you know, get up and um, have your coffee and breakfast and your me time. I think me time is very important. Um, set a lunch hour, set break time um, as you would a regular office. I think that's really, really helpful. Um, secondly, I would say try and schedule like a workout. I know it's really hard now that we're all stuck at home, like everybody's at home, but there are tons of um, online free classes you can take. As a long time work at home parent, I can tell you my absolute number one tip is to get up a few hours earlier than the rest of your house. This way you can get through the things that you don't necessarily have to connect with other people to accomplish. Invoices, emails, uh, pitches, you name it. Check those things off your list before anybody else even wakes up for breakfast. Working from home with kids can definitely be a challenge. What I found works best for me is to segment my time as much as possible rather than try and spread myself too thin throughout the day. So when it's time to work, it's time to work. And when it's time to be with the kids, they get my full attention. Tip four, try to set a routine for your little ones too. If you're working from home with young kids, maximize your time during both their naps and bedtime. If you have a toddler or school age child, schedule quiet time in their room and set them up for success with either a bin of quiet time toys or activities that can be played with completely independently. With the kids home, create your own space. My husband set up this desk area for me and is sharing his office, but you might have to get creative. So wherever you're working from home, this is a little tip. Day one and two was miserable because on conference calls, I had tons of shoulder taps by my kids asking me for food. And I mean, I am feeding them, but really. Um, I do have some undesirables, but it's okay. This was supposed to be my new walk-in closet, which has now turned into my office. And I have some nice Boston over music playing and a candle bright and cheery and I'm kind of loving it. And tip number six, be patient and be kind with others and yourself. So my biggest tip can be summed up in just one word and that is grace. Um, the more that we can give ourselves some added understanding, some added leeway and much more grace and give that to the people around us, the more likely we are going to be successful all around. We're all in this together, sending you a whole lot of love.